Can you believe it is summer and I'm wearing long sleeves in this video? Hello beautiful people, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who are new, my name is Crystal Cameron and I once identified myself as a musician until I had a traumatic mouth injury that took away my ability to sing and I was left wondering who the fuck am I? From doing a lot of inner work over the last few years, I have realized I am incredibly passionate about teaching people the power of changing your mind and how much it can change your life. So I've started posting a lot more about mindset, self-development, habits, routines, and rituals, especially for those who are not naturally organized like myself. If you enjoy that kind of content or you're looking to up level in this new year, make sure you head over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there because I post about it way more than I do on YouTube. Today's video is my little golden nugget of advice. I have spoken about it on my Instagram previously, but I thought I'd do a bit more of an in-depth video with you guys because I know not everyone here looks at my Instagram and vice versa. This could also be your first time ever seeing me so to paint the picture of who I used to be huh, where do I begin basically the textbook definition for a creative chaotic brain was me my mental health was greatly suffering because I believed literally every projection on earth from any person around me I had no self-worth whatsoever and I was so unable to break through this barrier of believing that I was worth nothing and that I wasn't talented and that I didn't have anything to share with the earth. Through various habits, routines, rituals, time blocking, different structures that I have implemented for myself, I have been able to completely flip the narrative of my life by changing my mindset and my belief system. But the topic of today's video I thought would be very relevant for the first month of a new year, considering so many people get stuck into vision boards and new year's resolutions and goals and don't actually make an action plan for executing those and how to stay on top of them. The easy most simplistic mindset switch that I made over a year ago now, which has ensured me to never skip the gym in 2023. And I mean, not one time. I started treating my habits like an appointment. Now, don't get me wrong. When I first started transitioning to being a morning person three, what year are we in? About three years ago now, in the middle of the pandemic, I decided I was sick of my own shit and I wanted to try being a morning person. And when I first started creating that lifestyle for myself, I did have a layer of accountability. I was meeting one of my friends at the gym a few times of the week. This honestly was actually short-lived. I not only quit working at the place that was right near this gym, but that friend moved over an hour away and also quit working there. So it was a very temporary period where I had the accountability layer of meeting somebody else in in the mornings to structure my morning routine and go to the gym with someone and go home and see the sunrise and you know do all the romanticizing shit that I thought was impossible for me I only had that layer of accountability for a short period of time something I see so often is when we remove the layer of accountability or obligation somehow it's so much easier to just roll over and hit snooze and not do the things we wanted to do naturally we don't like letting other people down so I feel like if you have that layer of accountability to wake up and meet a friend you're more likely to get up the reason I say treat your habits like an appointment is for the same layer of obligation and accountability. If you woke up and you had scheduled an appointment to see the doctor, for example, and that appointment was at 8.45, would you wake up and say, oh, I didn't sleep well, I'll just go to the doctor later? No. If you were getting your hair cut and you woke up that day and you went, mm, I don't really feel like it, I'll just go after work. You can't do that because it's scheduled in with the hairdresser. So you're fucking them around too. Why is it when you wake up and you want to hit snooze because you're going to go for a walk on your own, you don't care about canceling? Oh, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Oh, I'm really tired. La, 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 la. You can go around in that cycle forever. Nothing's going to change if you keep going through the cycle of, uh, it doesn't matter. I quite literally schedule in my habits every single day at an allocated time slot so that they actually get done. It is so easy to say, okay, in 2024, I'm going to hit the gym five times a week. And then you get to Wednesday and you go, oh, fuck, if I don't go today, I can't squeeze in five times because I've got to do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whereas if you set aside half an hour at the end of every week and you plan the week ahead and you're okay, last week I was quite sore, so I didn't get five sessions in. So I'm not only going to space them out, but I'm going to pre-plan like the time of day, the muscle group so that it's smart and it's structured and it sets me up for success. It literally takes like 10 minutes to do that and all you have to do is wake up and follow the schedule babe <laughs> i'm never gonna wake up and just decide i'm not going to the dentist because i don't feel like it there are days where it will test you and you have to keep the promise to yourself for example i had a really strict and structured morning routine where i had habits stacked waking up with my greens and vitamins so i knew first step in my morning routine wake up head to the kitchen make my greens take my vitamins 
get moving for the day. About nine months ago, I started a new round of Invisalign and I found myself doing what I always naturally would do. I'd wake up and I'd go, mm, I have to take my retainer out just so I can drink my greens and vitamins. I'll just do it later. Everyone takes greens and vitamins for different reasons, but basically I'd go about my day and I would not feel the quality that I could be feeling because I skipped on this basic habit because I just couldn't be bothered. It genuinely is as simple as realizing it's scheduled in, so I'm following the schedule. When you skip one time, it very easily becomes 10 times and then it becomes a habit to skip more than it becomes a habit to carry out the habit. So if you are serious about creating new habits and routines this year and you actually wanna to stick to them, I challenge you to actually schedule them in know when you're carrying them out and treat them with the same level of importance as you would if somebody else was relying on you. Because ultimately, why does your growth and progress matter less to you than letting somebody else down. This is the tough love section of the video, okay? If you wake up and the alarm goes off and you just can't be bothered, start asking yourself, do I care about myself? Do I want to progress this year? Start saying things like, hmm, I could get up and better myself right now, but it's not a priority to me. And tell me how that makes you feel. Do I want to achieve this new level of myself or do I just want to stay the same? Start asking yourself these questions because when you wrote this list of goals for the new year, you wanted to change. So why are you the one that's going to hold yourself back? Not only do I keep an incredibly detailed Google Calendar of my life and everything I have done and everything I will do, but I also believe in the concept of habit tracking. Now, you can literally Google free habit tracker template and print one off and tick it in on paper, but I personally, I've created a Google Sheet that I use and I have a free template. If you are interested, please head over to my Instagram, send me a DM, say, hey girl, put me in the habit tracker template, please, and I will get you in that file because... It is so easy to use. But before sitting down to make this video, I went through the last 12 months worth of my habit trackers and I genuinely did not skip the gym once in 2023. My philosophy for the last year or so has been that I love to wake up and work on myself before I work for anyone else. And that is the reason why I am so adamant about not skipping out on my habits. Not only was I getting incredibly passionate just then, but my camera actually overheated, which I have never Ever seen it do. So to summarize this little video, if you are someone who has gone and started this new year with a vision board, a list of goals, habits that seem really challenging, but you really want to change, and this is the year that you're going to do something about it and not just say that you're going to change, I urge you to try scheduling your habits like appointments. Treat them with the same level of accountability and care and obligation as you would anything else if it incorporated another person. You and your self-development and your goals and your ability to change are just as important as being late to work, not going to the dentist. All of those things that you would go to habitually because you have to, that is the same way you need to treat these habits and goals. Let this be the year that you enable little mindset shifts that make it so much easier for you. Because trust me, if anyone thought that they could never stop being a depressed motherfucker who achieved nothing, it was me. Some people have followed this channel for a while and they may have seen room tour videos where my room was a clusterfuck mess of shit. You may have seen vlogmases where I cried every single day because I was miserable as fuck. The clarity and change and growth that has happened from me changing my mind and implementing habits, routines, rituals, structure as a whole. Life changing. So if you're looking to up level this year, definitely hit subscribe, head over to my Instagram, give me a follow. New mindset things are going to be rolling out over the course of the year because I'm so incredibly passionate about changing the minds of people who don't realize there are better options. Changing the minds of people who just think that they're meant to be a night owl and they're meant to be unproductive and they're lazy and they don't have habits, they don't care about themselves. That all changes with your mind and changing your mind starts with little, little steps like this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Share it with someone who may need to see it. I will be continuing the vlogs this year. I'll be continuing the fun videos, but I'm definitely also implementing some videos like this that provide you with some value because I'm just so freaking passionate about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in an upcoming video or media thing.